good morning, Z team. And I was just about to say, thank you, Brian, for all that wonderful, uplifting music this morning on Saturday because Annabelle needed that music. And we're going to start doing that before every call just to get everyone in that right space that they need to be in to absorb some teaching, absorb some learning, absorb that friendship uh, relationship that we've got going on with this team. And Annabelle spent yesterday. Cereal, what I do with it? Uh oh, we got some, we got some noise going on in the background here. Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, good morning, everyone. I know you're wanting to talk, but here we go. We're getting ready for the training here. <laughs> so Annabelle spent yesterday in Burbank, is that correct? Burbank or Irvine, 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 Irvine California. Um, they were Irvine, doing, California. Irvine. Yes. Okay. They, they were doing the um, Richard Smith was there. And so Annabelle went and went to two of the sessions. And I'm going to let her share a little bit about what she learned there and what she saw and then the energy that was there because it was really cool. Um, oh, my God. But I am going to introduce her right now, just so that all of you know what an amazing woman this is um, that's going to be before us teaching this morning. Um, Annabelle is one of the most heart-centered people I know. She and I met about five years ago now, and we have become very, very close. And she just is very heart-centered, very, um, she's one of the best edifiers I know as far as coming from the heart. I learn from her every time that I get on a call with her, that she brings people to me. I am just so, I'm just always like, what's she going to say next? This is, just, you know, it's, it really gets me engaged and I'm sure it gets the, the person that she's brought to um, meet me engaged as well. So with all that being said, I'm going to introduce her so that she can take over this morning's call. I don't want to waste another minute of her time. So everybody, the amazing Miss Annabelle Restrepo. Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for being here. I'm so excited to be here, even though I'm literally exhausted. And I told Brian, please, we got to have some music so I can wake up and get my dopamine going. But thank you so much, uh, Colette, um, for those beautiful words. I feel the same exact you. I, I could not do this business without Colette Daniels. And that is 100%, a million percent the truth. And really, this us being a team, it's just incredible and this is where we we come to recharge and really feel what we're doing matters and yesterday when I was in Irvine California let me tell you it almost took me two hours and a half to get there but you know what every single moment um, was worth a lifetime of memory and that's because when we are committed we have to sacrifice OK, so that's a tip right there. All right. But that sacrifice is also joy. Uh, I, I don't like to call it work. I like to call it joy work, because when we speak uh, to ourselves in in out loud, whatever we're saying, it's so important. The words that we utter, how that just really gets into ourselves. Right. So work has an energy of lower right but if you say joy work see how it just uh, um you know just lit me up so richard smith did an amazing um presentation twice about three times but uh, i took a break in between to go have a lunch dinner with one of my business partners um with transact card and um what i can tell you is he's the real deal oh my god i was so blessed um, I think I manifested seeing him in person because that's all I thought of. And also um, at another opportunity, I'll meet uh, Peter Ramsey. But I can tell you, oh, he got emotional many times. He told us various stories. And let me tell you, what's coming with Transact Card is amazing. And what I loved about Richard Smith is his love was focus outward to the people were there that that were there so it was in a small classroom setting conference about 20 uh for 20 people well for the first one there was at least another 12 maybe outside and inside the classroom okay i don't know what happened to the second se session but the third session you guys 
they had to take it to the, he had to give the presentation and Barbie, a converse was also there. And they had to say it in the stairwell. So we had people <laughs> upstairs. I was on the stairs. Downstairs was full. Um, I want to say there was about, I don't know, 80, 90 people that were supposed to, you know, fit in a room of 20, 25 max standing, you know, with standing, uh, some standing capacity. So it was just, uh, uh, you know, enormously just amazing um, where we're going with this and the things that you have heard, it's all true. And he basically, the one he gave in the stairwells, he just had to do it without a PowerPoint. But you can tell that um, everybody was, um, how should I say, was just uh, in love with what this company is doing. And I don't know for fact, how many join? But I want to. I want to say <laughs> about a hundred percent join because those people were lit. Let me tell you. And it was so funny when he was on the stairwell. There was a gentleman that was downstairs, and his legs were going like this, right? And and Richard Smith said, "He's in. He's been in for the last hour." He goes, "I can read body language," and that's a person that's just like, "Okay, be quiet." Sign me up, sign me up. So this is what we have right now with Transact Card. And um, I was just really, really blessed to, to meet him. I know where we're going. I mean, I knew I was in a billion percent from the beginning. But after meeting him yesterday and the wonderful team that was there, the um, leader, uh, Ron Moore, that, you know, put that out, uh, that, that meeting out, phenomenal. And his team just 10x at that event. So events are very, very powerful. Make the sacrifice, go, you won't regret it. So that's what I have to say, share about that. Uh, Annabelle, can you, see, can you see the picture on my screen? You guys, can you see it? <laughs> and and upstairs the stairwell was yeah. full. Yeah, full. look, there's Annabelle on the steps, you guys. She's right there <laughs> on the steps. And is that yeah. Sharon next to you? Uh-huh. No, yep. that's not Sharon. Oh, okay. So Sharon, all the way upstairs, you. there's pictures of people all the way around the top. All there's the people. way around the banister. <laughs> and that's only a little bit here. There was pe people over here. I'm telling you, it was it was crazy. And he kept on apologizing how he didn't have a PowerPoint, but it didn't it didn't matter because he had his music with him. And that's really important. The music is your energy, what he brought, his mission. Um how you know his story is very powerful uh you must listen to his story but um i'm gonna and get away from that and get into the lesson because i know that we're here for that but if you you guys cannot miss vegas every single one of you have to be there and i can't wait to meet each and every one of you uh in person so Let's get into uh, a little bit of the coaching. And actually, I want to see everybody, Colette, if you could just put it on everything, because I want a little bit of engagement. We're going to play a game today um, called The Depth, okay? And for my uh, Z family that used to be uh, my family in another opportunity, you're pretty familiar with the, uh, this game. And it's an analogy in relationship to what we do as um, relationship marketing, base, basically. And what it is, is that the deck has 52 cards. And as we all know, in a deck, there's four aces. So the four aces are basically like your influencers, your leaders on your team. Those are the people that are really going to drive your business. Now, depending on how many run, runs you do on the course of, you know, three months, six months, year, you're just doing this day in and day at working your schedule, however you can, you're going to see that it's a numbers game. Okay. So if you like to take some notes, there is actually, I'm going to go over the power quotes that come with this game. Okay. Okay that we're going to play. It is the game of the joy work that we do. Okay. So this is really important because when you think about it, it, do you want it to be heavy or do you want it to be light? Right. 
And the way we make it light is we make it, uh, you know, the game of life. All right. You're not really even joy working. You're just experimenting life and meeting new people is the spice of life. OK, that's one power core. It doesn't go to this game, but that's one of it. Meeting new people are the spice of life. All right. And the people that are already part of your inner circle or or like that, those people, they're already seasoned. All right. And, you know, when you eat, you know, if you're vegetarian, I'm sorry, but I'm a steak girl. When 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 a meat is very well seasoned, right, you eat it with joy. And those are the people that you already know and you have wonderful relationships. You know, like I have a relationship with Brian and Esther. I've had the privilege to meet this lovely young doctor, Seth. I, you know, I heard the presentation last week and wow, I was like, what an incredible uh, doctor and gentleman. And then we have, you know, the wonderful Jeff Myers, who is our brains here, right? Oh, my God. And Mark Langley, who just hit senior manager. I'm breathing senior manager, Mark. All right. And where's Steve? Is Steve on here? I don't see Steve. Did he not come on? Oh, my God. Okay. I'm, I'm missing Steve. And then we got Tomas, um, which I wish he would turn on the camera, and Amy and Lacey. We got to see each other, you guys. Lisa and Patricia. Tanya, welcome. Say hi to Michael, your husband. And there's Tomas. You see what this does, you guys? It's it's amazing. And when we um, approach people, it's really important. As human beings, this is really about psychology, okay? Or the science of people, if you will. We carry two signs throughout our life, all right? And one of the signs is, as you're talking to people, as you're going through the deck of cards of life and doing, changing the world a swipe at a time, every human being that you have in front of you, doesn't matter the modality, whether it's a video, whether um, you know it's a three-way call, whether it's a Zoom. What I'm trying to tell you with the, and make you comfortable is that doesn't matter at one point, we have to see eye to eye, okay? And when we do, and when we get into each other's space, we carry our first sign that says, if you, if you believe this, okay, we have this tattoo, make me feel special, okay? That's what all of us as human beings, as, as connectors, as creatures of habit have. All right. How can you relate your business to this if I'm carrying this sign 24 7 as I breathe? Okay. Marriages are lost because this is not implemented. Okay. So business partners are lost because we don't implement this. Friends, family members, right? It's up to us to really do this, all right? And the second sign we have right here, okay, this is really important because there's gonna, through, when we go through the deck, there's more no's than yes, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not gonna bring your energy down. The second sign is because you have to be a secret agent and you have to discover what it is. So the second one is do not disturb. I'm disturbed enough already, okay? These are the people that are already doing five, six, seven things. We're in a gig economy, you guys. Everybody has a nine to five. Everybody has three to four side hustles, right? Doesn't matter. You know why? Because we have the amazing transact card opportunity. How many of you think that this opportunity is the best opportunity that has ever come into your life? For me, yes. Okay? So know that. Feel that in your heart. Don't allow anything to interrupt that. All right? Okay, so now we're going to get into the, the, the power quote that is for the game. It's, the first one is, as we go through the deck, you'll see that a lot of the deck is just you know, these kind of people, 
No. No. Right? And that's okay because this no is really not yet. Not, not now. Not now. So the timing is wrong. Okay? But it's it's a no right now. But it's not now. Okay? And that's a good because all you're doing is having them take a look. That's all you're doing. Doesn't matter what the result is. Because the law of averages, right? It's a numbers game. All right. So one of the uh, of the powers quote is every no is going to bring you closer to a yes. So you should write that down because when you do that, you know that the numbers are probable, you know, and it's a prediction. But if you know in your mind, you have a belief that the cards are always in your favor, guess what? That's how it's going to be. I'm going to repeat that. If you believe, it starts here, that the cards are always in your favor, that's what's going to become your reality. Okay? So the no's doesn't matter because we already know that we live in a world where there's always going to be no's, but that doesn't matter because when that is your experience, you just go to a new, a new person. Meeting new, what do we have more? How many billions of people do we have on the planet or just in the United States? Next, let me go to the new one, right? And the other one was just not yet. Okay, so now part of the game is when I, I, I'm i passing the cards, one of the power quotes is E, like E-H, people will E, People will lead you to a eh people, which means like, you know what? They're just not a match. You know, Jeff Meyer said the other day, I am really paying attention who I want to do business with, right? So don't let a no get you down. They might just not be a match for you. See, everybody on the screen is like-minded people, but I can tell you the world could not be here because they don't all think alike, right? And my, I'm from Ecuador, in my country, we have a saying in Spanish, right? That uh, says, si no hubiera gustos, las telas no se vendiera. If there was not likes, you know, what I like, then the materials in the street, the fabrics would not sell. Because what you like, maybe I don't like, right? So that's really important. So as we go through the, that you want to make a, a, a you know, um, pay attention and you kind of want to pre qualify them, right? And if you really want to go to the top of this, who wants to be president? I want to be president of this company, okay? So then you're going to have to recruit up. If you want aces, you have to be an ace. You don't have to be an ace in this second, but you have to feel it. So I feel like an ace, right? So I know, doesn't matter really the timing, but I know that I'm gonna go to the top. So um, another one is never prejudge, never prejudge. Hey, we're all, at the end of the day, we're one. The whole universe is one and we're all brothers and sisters. Doesn't matter our race, it doesn't matter our, our uh you know, uh, gender, it doesn't matter our color, it doesn't matter our culture, does not matter. We all smile in the same language. We all smile in the same language and that's what's important. So when you're dealing with people or you're with communicating with people, especially on a one-on-one, -on -one, because that's what you wanna do. You know, the eyes is the window to the heart and that's the truth, you guys, okay? I mean, I'm telling you, it is, all right? Remember, when you invest a little bit more time, you have longevity. Think about the best relationships that you have right now in your life. You've committed time to it. And don't tell me no, because then you're lying. You have committed time to that, to that person. And however, and that's, you know, that's, what enriches us, right? It's not, 
honestly, money is a vehicle, but it, it's not the all. all. The, the day that you die, you, you, you're going to be pulling memories. So it's really about the relationships and the connections. Okay? Because we come with nothing and we go with nothing. Right? But we really, really have it all. So, you know, currency is just something that was invented, really. Right? And that's what we use and that's what we have. Okay? And another of the quotes is, funny is money. And funny as money is about keeping it light, keeping it fun, all right? And think about the relationship that you do have uh, with money, right? Because it's not the root of all evil. At least that's not my um, definition because there's wonderful causes in the world, aren't there? And how do those causes get funded? With currency. Okay, with currency. That's the only way we can really change the world, world because we set it up this way as a human race, right? So this is good. It's not bad, all right? And this is paper. This is paper. This is a quarter. This is a coin. Two different materials. Why is the paper worth more than the metal? Think about that. When you're dealing with people, never prejudge. That's another power quote for you guys. Okay, so let's start the game. And I want engagement. That means that I'm going to call someone out and I just want them to give a, a really quick example and this is to to train you right and coach you and because each one of you are worth gold and each one of you have gold nuggets that I'm gonna learn so you're gonna be coaching me at the same time okay and I want to learn from each and every one of you because I know that you have wealth in your mind and your heart the fact that you're on the screen you're my person you're my person. You're my people right here. Okay. You're my people. All you right. Just, you so. just scared two people off the screen when you said you're going to call on them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get those cameras gone. All right. We're going to start the deck of cards here. All right. This is going to be so much fun. So I said 52 cards, right? So here, here we go. Number one. Eh, nah, nah. Nothing to, to offer here, right? It's okay. Got to keep the energy up. Before you go into anything, check your energy before you enter. All the time. Don't allow anybody to throw off your energy. Okay? That's really important in what we're doing. All right? Remember, this part here, it's about I'm stressed, I'm overworked, um, my dear Jeff, I'm in a prison, okay, <laughs> right? Uh, I'm doing five things, I'm busy, I, I have seven kids, um, I'm the soccer mom, this is what it is, all right? How do you feel when you go in a hotel and you put this out? Not necessarily you're there with your significant other or, you know, a wife, a husband, whatever, the kids. Sometimes, I mean, I've been in a home where I'm by myself and I put this out there, right? Because I need to retreat. So this is about um, us as human beings having fear. We all have fear, you guys. Okay? And the fear, you just, when you're doing this, when you're doing your transact card business, you just have to be aware that there's fearness in this other human being as you have it. But remember... You're the one that wants to show the mission here, right? The, the vision of what we're doing. So it's really important that you just stay very, very balanced. Very. Doesn't matter what they say, okay? So here I go to the next one. All right? Your performance. Listen to this. Your performance 
is going to be measured by your daily practice, right? So there's 52 here with four aces, right? And we got some jokers in here. And we got some slapjacks or, or jackasses. Excuse my French, right? Okay. So no. Then all of a sudden, you meet this guy. Oh, my God. He wants to beat you up. <laughs> all right? But don't let him beat you up. You got to keep your posture. And how are you going to love on him or her? Right? You have to just maintain that posture. And maybe you beat them up a little bit with love and also information and whatever they need. Right? And maybe it's an X. It's okay. Maybe that one's a no, right? It's a no. All right. That's okay. You just ask them to take a look. And why do we ask them to take a look? Because they got to make a decision. That's all. Okay? That's all we're doing. So, eh. Eh. Oh, my God. He wants to fix transact card. When you give them the information, they want to fix the program. How about that? So you have to be ready for the fixer. How are you going to answer? Esther, how do you answer someone that wants to fix our program? Got to say, I don't know if I've had a fixer other than myself yet. I've probably been the one in that seat, if anything, you know, Throw, throwing up the pride about, yeah, I know this or that. Yeah, no. I love the humbleness. You hear the humbleness of her? That's beautiful, Esther. Thank you for sharing. Love that. Ah. Okay, I'm still smiling. Oh, an ace. Oh, you guys, an ace. An ace. Yay. Come on. This is my guy. This is somebody right here on the screen. Right there, number one. Here we go. Let's see here. Right there, okay? My first ace arrived. Now I can start planning and, you know, setting up some calls, getting them on the Zooms, right? Then we keep on going. Nada. Oh, my God. This guy shows up. He's going to tell the world. That's what he tells you. He believes he's an ace. And he says, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to. Uh, uh, uh. Jeff, what do you say to someone that says, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to be present and I'm going to meet it in at the end of the month by launch. That sounds like me. But <laughs> what I what I usually tell people, I encourage them. I said, that's great. Let's lock arms and run together and let's duplicate that energy. Love it. I love it. But sometimes those talkers. Yep. They're just talkers. Sometimes those talkers. Then you try to get a hold of them. And then they do this. They ghost you. Mm -hmm. They ghost you. Do you want to hear my power quote for that? Yes. Next. Okay. I <laughs> want to <it>. hear <laughs> Brian, when someone has ghosted him, what does he do? What do I do when someone ghosts me? I, yeah. I give them blessings and I say thank you. And I just say, nope, not now. Just like Jeff says, next. He's smiling and he's got the energy there. Wow. Ruthie, what do you do when someone ghosts you? I can't hear you, sweetheart. Unmute. Know that it's not about me. You know, it's okay. it's just where they're at. And it's okay. Love them anyway. That's right. Okay. So what I do, just so, so you know, I follow up, right? And I say to them, oh, maybe you didn't see my text, right? So... I just want to know, I want to say hi. You may have forgotten. How would you like to proceed? And almost 90% of the time I get a response. I'm so busy. I'm so sorry. Right? Because we assume. Never assume. Yeah. 
Yeah. So sometimes a ghost is not really a ghost. But okay. I really do respect people like one of my past teammates in another company. I've approached her twice because I re I started reflecting on some of her dreams that she had um, in the other company. And when I approached her again, she said, really, I'm not interested. I would not do this. If I do anything, I'm going to invest in property and I heard it, love her anyway. We're no still going to be friends. <laughs> Next. No person. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. So, okay. Keep showing the plan. Keep sending the video. Keep reaching out. Keep exposing. Oh, we got a Jeff Myers. Here we go. They want research. They want all the numbers they want before they make a decision. That's okay because you want a person like this on your team. You want all the personalities on your team. That's what makes really a thriving, solid team. Okay? So this is an amazing, so amazing that he's an ace. We just got to recognize them. You might not be like that, but you're not looking for people that are, are, are like you. When you're talking to people, it doesn't matter how they are, okay? Sometimes we have the tendency to talk to people how we are, but it's not how we are. It's how they are, okay? So we have to practice having personality flexibility. That's very important. All right. So let's just go through the deck. Oh, I got a slap jack. I want to slap him. Right? What happens when you get one of these? Amy, turn on that camera, girl. Lacey, turn on the camera. Tomas, somebody. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm driving. It's probably not. The good thing for me to turn on the camera. <laughs> Doctor, okay, I get it. Doctor uh, Seth. Um, what do you do all, when you get... What is it? What is it? He's a slapjack. He's a jackass. Oh, <laughs> I've been that. Um, so uh, basically just love on him and, and say, hey, look, if it, it's not for everybody. That's so cool. But if you know somebody who this might be great for... Come on, have him have him contact me or give me his name and number. Okay, you see Dr. Seth's energy? That's my kind of guy right there, right? He, the, he just didn't allow that. Eh, eh, eh. Ooh, another fixer. Want to fix the plan. This is what's going to happen daily, you guys. And we have to be, uh, as we do the practice, we get better, all right? So this is something for us to get back. Here's the ace. Here's your another influencer, right? And that's going to take you to the top of the company. It's going to work with you, right? So here we go, number three. Oops. And then. Okay, next. 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 As you're doing that, you're getting better. You're getting better. You're getting better. You're getting better. I want to do it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Let's go to the top. So this is another ace, right? What is your reaction, Mark Langley, when somebody sees the vision? How do you feel? What do you say? What do you answer? Mark? Awesome. I caught the video the first time I saw it too. Come on over here to sign up. Then I'll get you started. Love it. We'll build our team together. There you go. That's the answer. Eh. 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 I don't even care about this jackass. Eh. 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 Ooh, 
Ooh, you got a life of the party. A crazy eight. Who's got a, a crazy person on their team? But you just love them. Talat, what do you do when you have one of those crazy ones that call you up for everything and want to know and, and ask you a billion times? How do you handle that? Or just crazy? Oh, my gosh. I love the crazy eight, though. It brings energy and excitement, and we need them. So I bring them in. I answer their questions. I teach them to be able to know. So when someone comes to them, the answers. So I love crazy eights. It's all right. All right. That's good. Eh. Eh. You're getting better though. Eh. You're getting better though. Eh. You are, where's my work? Huh, huh, huh. You are just doing this game so good. You're just getting so good now. So good, so good, right? And the numbers are going to start showing up because you're just so good. Yay. And you're so good. You're so good. You're so good. You're both so good. What happens when you're both so good? Steve, there you are. Hi, Steve. What do you do when it's so good? This is the first time I see you. Different Tell Steve, but different Steve, but yeah. I know it's a different Steve. I see that. <laughs> I don't know if he's new or if he's got experience in this. Yeah, he does have experience. Steve, come on. Oh, Steve, what, what do you do when it's so good? Unmute, Steve. There we go. Unmute. All right. Hello. Hello. Oh, I guess I'm still... <laughs> Yeah, I want to hear what you wow. do. Okay, uh, am I still muted? I can hear you now. Okay, well, so uh, uh, tell me the question one more time real quick. I said, what do you do when you're so good and you have an ace? What, what do I do when it's so good and I've got an ace? Uh -huh. I, 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 love, I, I love them, I embrace them. I welcome them and I share more with them. And I, I'm, I'm so excited to help them to build their team. Wow, and, that's uh, amazing. Thank you, Steve. Thank you for that. This is the first time I see welcome. you. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, we go to the next one. Eh, eh, you guys got the picture? Wow, a power couple shows up. All right, a 10. Now, this is powerful, you guys. When you finally get like a Jeff and a Tina on your team, that's powerful. All right? Just remember that um, because they're working on the background together, and uh, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Um, I've had the honor to work with uh, different power couples in other businesses. And um, actually, a power couple just showed up in my business, and I'm excited uh, to, to work with them. I don't know if Tanya's still on here, but um, she's not. She probably had to go. So this is very powerful. They are a 10. Okay, you see the, the little fist right there? He's just ready to go. She's ready to go. And, and this is really amazing when you have it on your team. So cherish it. Uh, take care of it, make them feel special. And let me tell you, you guys will both go all the way to the to the top. Oh, and then we got a fool. Oh my God. What happens when the fool shows up? Huh? Oh my God. Brian, what happens when the fool shows up? Well, <laughs> once again, you gotta love them, man. You gotta love them, you gotta share, but you kind of gotta keep them at a distance um, so they don't ruin the energy of the team, right? <laughs> There's always somebody that's kind of trying to mix up the pot and trying to bring you down. But, you know, if you are around people that are uplifting you, then you keep those people around you and you kind of have those people you love on them. You say, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. And when you're ready, we are ready. All thank right. you. Have an incredible day today. Thank you, Brian. And the last eight showed up. So, wow, you're on your way. You're on your way to the top. And these don't even matter. Okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's have a party. Let's have a party. Okay. Cause you're 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 going up there. 
So that is really the game, but I want to close with this because I know for, um, for, for, for time, you're a star. Each one of you are a star. You have to have strength to do this business. Okay. But you guys, if you're on the screen, you have the strength to do it. You really, really do. Okay. And you have to learn to be a swordfish. Okay. Always have your sword ready, but sword with kindness. Okay. Know your plan. Know what you're doing. It, it's, it's about sharpening yourself. This is what this swordfish is about. Okay. Because there's a lot of stingrays, grace out there. And they're going to want to sting you all day long. And you have to be sharp and, and loving. And you just have to know what Richard Smith says, lose yourself in the betterment of others. Right? So the great, the four agreements is if you're impeccable with your word, if you don't take things personal, if you don't assume and you know you're doing your best, you've done it all, all right? So you're the star, you're strong, you're a swordfish. And when all this happens, something magical happens, really magical happens. You become a musician. Honestly, that's how great this is. And you got your ace of wands. This opportunity is so amazing, you guys, okay, that it lets us come in as a DBO. It doesn't put pressure on you. If you don't recognize yourself as wanting to build an organization, you can be right here and here's your wheel of fortune, just getting customers. How wonderful is that to know that this company has thought of each human being and respect uh, respecting them to still be able to make not only a living, but a fortune shall they choose. It's really up to each and every one of us to paint this picture image out there, okay? So this is a DBO with just only customers and you can have be proud of that, of who you are, all right? There's something for everyone here. But if you are the magician and the ace, the ace of one, you're going to have this. You're going to have this. Okay? This is what I'm going for just because it's my personality, right? And with that, I'm going to have the world. Thank you so much. That's it, you guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You are so amazing, Annabelle. Thank you so much. I love your energy. I love how you include everyone. And your teaching is just so on point and very, uh, just a very, very cool way to teach. And I love it. Just, just exactly how you, when you bring people to me and edify them, you just have that way about you. And it just... It includes everyone. You're very, you are very Thank inclusive. You. Thank you so much, <laughs> Thank you guys. You. Give her a round of applause again. Love Yay! you guys. I really, really do. I'm, I'm going to put a heart up there for all of you to let you know that I'm here to support you. I'm here to love each and every one of you. Um, just know that 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 I'm here. I, I right before we go off, I wanted to share it because I think this is very powerful, and and I really want to leave it with you. We have Larry Lang who has, I understand, 4,000 of, of, of district, you know, what do we call them? DBOs, DBOs. right? <laughs> um, okay. I went for a whale in the, in the Spanish uh, community, a gentleman that I worked with for, never was on, on his team, but I called him. I, he's a good friend of mine. And Colette knows exactly what gentleman I'm talking about. Okay. We're talking a leader as big as Larry Lane. Uh, uh, Lane, Okay. But let me show you the difference and take this in. Really, really take it in. When I call, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use his name. I'm gonna say Jose Rodriguez. He has a Latino name. She knows who I'm talking about. Okay. This is a Larry Lane. I've seen it. No one's told me. Okay. He's big. And when I called him, he said, 
I can't believe I didn't call you and you're in, Annabelle. And I said, yeah, I, I was calling you to see if we could work together because, you know, he's very span, uh, big in the Spanish community and been to at the top numerous companies. OK. But you know what he told me? He said, Annabelle. Same, same leadership, like, but not so much. I can't have 30 and 40 and 50 people calling me a day saying that the card is not working and the system's not working and not working. I can't have people all day long. I lost my little one. This says, but this, but that, but, uh, but this, Jose, and you told me this and that right? You don't think this gentleman over here had the same thing? Who's getting the pie right now? Oh, he's going to come and be huge. But who's got it now? See how these two men are just as powerful, but it shows a fact about the mindset. He'll make it. When do you want to make it? Now is our time. Right now. Okay. Thank you. Love it, Annabelle. Thank you so much, you guys. Uh, great teaching. Very, very powerful. And um, don't forget to show up on and in just 930 Pacific time coming up will be the corporate call. And it's very, very important at this pre-launch stage to connect to both Saturday and Monday's calls. Very, very important. It'll help you become that leader because you will hear the information just as I do and um, every other leader, right? So get that information, plug into when it'll help you be able to disseminate and pass it down to your people. So that's all well, I get have. your aces, you guys. There go. you do it, Yes. Go get moving and find those aces. Love you all. And we'll Love see you guys. on the next call. Bye. 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 Bye.